What would the world be like if technology could find a way to judge your soul and ban you from society, even imprison you before you have even committed a crime, just because you might have had the potential to do so? Hi, let's take a look at Psychopath Providence. <laughs> Much like Philip K. Dick's Minority Report and Isaac Asimov's Foundation, Psychopaths examines the relationship between authoritarianism and individual autonomy for the greater good of humanity, with Psychopaths handing it over to a centralized AI for an independent and unbiased assessment. And Providence is contemplating whether criminality can be provoked in people who don't have the potential for it and how they should be judged, whether divinity is something we can create and manipulate, and how our valiant that future might be. If that sounds like a tall order, then you'd be right. While Providence works well enough as a standalone movie to process the themes and the impact of the story, watching the series is a necessity. And if you do, this becomes a pretty good extension to it. The story is razor focused and uses its plot almost exclusively to carry it forward. Unfortunately, this also means that the movie doesn't invest much time in its characters. While the performances are great, the interactivity and interaction between them is very limited. And while this isn't too surprising when you're jumping from a serious to a movie, more of it definitely would have helped the story and the ending. The overall design and artwork are beautiful, and it feels much more contemporary than futuristic, which I prefer, as the issue of AI's impact on humanity is a very present one. And Production IG brings it to life with exquisite animation that translates weight and momentum incredibly well. The fight scenes are slower and less erratic though, which makes them feel a little more grounded, but also clumsier and slows down momentum. And some of the environments have an impressive scale, but unfortunately, they don't always manage to fill them with enough elements to make them feel lived in. In general, you can see that the movie may have been a bit too ambitious for its budget. But the only thing that bothers me is the over-reliance on 3D rendering and animation. There's almost no shot that doesn't use it, often for most of the frame. And that wouldn't be a problem if the shading wasn't so complex that it creates a mismatch between the characters and the environment, which is exacerbated by the fact that some of them don't have any cell shading at all and are animated at a full rate, which means they not only look different, but move differently as well, which I personally find incredibly distracting. And while Japanese animation is still in a league of its own when it comes to 2D animation, I would love to see them steal a few tricks from the Spider-Verse movies when it comes to the integration of 3D elements, which shouldn't be too hard since they both belong to Sony. But what the visuals may lack, the soundscape can make up for. The score is a wonderful blend of two very different styles. The more emotional and personal moments are accentuated by classical pieces and the more intense and action-driven ones are driven by an electronic score. And it's surprising how well they work together. And the sound design does a great job of localizing the characters and the environment, which is especially important in a 2D environment because you lack some of the localization definition that a 3D environment has. In conclusion, Psychopath Providence is a visually ambitious, very well animated and thematically complex movie that is purpose-built as an extension of its universe. And while some of its world feels empty at times, the characters don't interact too much with each other and the pacing slows down considerably before the finale, it manages to bring it all together pretty well in the end, leaving you hungry for more. If you're a Psycho Pass fan, you don't need me to tell you that you need to watch this. But if you're not, it's definitely worth giving it a try. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate you taking the time for it. And I'll see you in the next one.